Hi, I'm Matt Springer. I'm a professor at the University of California, San Francisco. For the last several years, my laboratory has been studying the harmful effects of secondhand smoke from cigarettes on the function of blood vessels. Uh, you can read all about the details in the text accompanying this video, but what I want to emphasize for you here is that the smoking of cigarettes is on the decline in the United States, but there are other tobacco and nicotine products that have been moving in to take their place. And some of these products are very similar to cigarettes, but because they are not technically cigarettes, they're not regulated as cigarettes with respect to sales and use in public. So the goal of this fundraising campaign is to enable us to study the smoke and the vapors from these products and to determine whether they have the same harmful effects on blood vessels that cigarette smoke has. This is timely and important because the various state and federal regulatory agencies are making their decisions about how to handle these products now and over the next few years. Now, you may have heard that it's very difficult to get research grants these days. Um, that's where you come in. Your targeted donations can help us to do this research, get the answers sooner rather than later, soon enough so that we can tell the FDA and other agencies what they need to know about the toxicity of these products and have an impact and influence the decisions that they make. Let me show you some of these products that we're talking about. I think you'll recognize these cigarettes. It's uh, basically a paper tube of tobacco with a filter, right? Highly regulated. You can only sell these in packs. They can't be flavored with anything other than menthol. Um, they're highly taxed, so they're expensive. And there are certainly limitations on where these things can be smoked in public. These are little cigars. Very similar. Uh, it's a tube of paper, tobacco, with filter. Uh, this paper actually has tobacco in the paper itself, so this is not legally a cigarette. It's not regulated in most parts like a cigarette. Here's a cigarillo, slightly different again. It's a little bit bigger, no filter. Uh, cigarillos can be sold individually, and both the cigarillos and the little cigars can come in a variety of fun flavors. So let's uh, take a look. I've got a few here. Let's see, we've got... Um, there's wine, peach, blueberry, chocolate. But face it, these products that I've shown you so far are tubes of tobacco. And if you burn this tobacco and you're exposed to the smoke, you're probably getting about the same thing and you're probably having about the same effect on blood vessels. Now here's one more product. This is uh, an electronic cigarette or e-cigarette. This is very different. There's no tobacco in this. It's liquid. Uh, the user inhales a puff of vapor that contains propylene glycol, glycerin, nicotine, flavorings, and at least in some cases, other toxic chemicals like formaldehyde and the main ingredient, the tear gas, at low levels. Now, it's not clear yet whether these chemicals are at high enough levels to be harmful, but it has been seen that when people smoke or vape these electronic cigarettes, bystanders show signs of having been exposed to nicotine afterwards. So we don't know yet whether these are harmful, but people are already starting to use them in public places where you wouldn't ordinarily expect to be exposed to cigarette smoke. So the question, are these harmful? Well, in the case of these, very likely. In the case of these, possibly. We don't know yet. And this is the kind of information that we can furnish, we need to know. And again, this is where you come in. With your help, we can do this research. We can tell the public and the FDA what we find, and the FDA can use that kind of information to determine if and how to regulate these various products so that the users know what they're getting, the bystanders know what they're getting, and so that we can make sure that appropriate limitations are put on how appealing these products can be to kids. Uh, did I mention that e-cigarettes now come in bubblegum flavor? So, I hope that you will help us to do this research, that you will help us to help all of us. I thank you for your generosity and for playing a crucial and direct role in advancing health.